Well, it's Easter weekend, and that comes with hunting for candy-filled eggs. Nickel Delgado went to one of the local Easter egg hunts today, and Nickel, I'm guessing there were a lot of smiles out there today. That's right, Mar Marissa. Families were so excited to go out, get candy, and take pictures with the Easter Bunny. Organizers say it's the perfect start for the Easter weekend. Patriot and Zion decided it's time to do an Easter egg hunt for the kids. So I stuffed eggs, and I got eggs and candy, and the main thing was the Easter Bunny. Zion Lutheran Church are partners with the Patriots Gateway Center, a place for kids to go after school to explore activities and new opportunities. Janice Forrest, site director at Patriots Gateway Center, says it's an exciting day to have an Easter egg hunt after two years without. Every kid wanted the Easter Bunny, and that did it. You know, kids will let you know if, they, if they're happy or not, because they're going to show you with their smiles and their hugs, and that's what it is for me. Kids running around hunting for Easter eggs to put in their baskets. Forrest says the love, smiles, and hugs are the best part. Uh, our Easter egg hunt is one of our several community building activities in the neighborhood here, in the neighborhoods of Midtown, in partnership with Zion Lutheran Church and Patriots Gateway Center to reach out and build community uh, here in, uh, in Rockford. Zion Lutheran Church pastor Michael Thomas says this is one of many opportunities for the community to come out, mingle, and have a good time. They have the chance for the kids and the parents to get outside on a, a beautiful spring day to get some candy and celebrate Easter. Both Michael and Janice say this is what community is all about. This is all about the kids, honey. And we've just been sheltered for two years. It's time to get out and start doing some stuff. Organizers say they can't wait for more community activities just like this. Marissa?